Bob and I know we need more omega-3s in our diet. So I'm asking chef, registered dietitian, and award-winning cookbook author, Jackie Nugent, for help understanding them. Welcome to the Boomer Brief, Jackie. Oh, thanks so much uh, for having me, Charlotte. Oh, well, thank you for joining us. Um, can you tell us more about why omega-3s are important to baby boomers? Well, sure. Um, what I want to do is actually share lots of tips with you, including how to incorporate more of that omega-3. So um, and it all starts with um, going with the basics. So it all starts with real ingredients. So starting with real ingredients, we're going to add a lot of flavor, and I've teamed up with Hellman's to be able to do just that. So let me share with you one of my recipes, and this is gonna, one um, kind of magical way to get your omega-3s. And to, So for instance, in the summertime, burgers are pretty common. So instead of a beef burger, what I've done here is I've gone with a turkey burger. And instead of just um, slapping that on the grill, I've incorporated ingredients right inside the mixture, that turkey burger mixture. So there's red bell pepper and onion. And here's the omega-3 part. It's called omega-3 ALA. It comes from mayonnaise. And it comes from the Hellman's Real Mayonnaise that has eggs and vinegar and oil. And it's in the oil that is where you're going to get that omega-3 ALA from the mayonnaise. And what I think a lot of people, first of all, they automatically think of salmon, so that's an excellent way to get omega-3. This is another way. So in, in, instead of just spreading it on top of that burger, incorporating it right into that burger is just going to create this really delicious moistness. So it's kind of a win-win, win for um, taste, win for texture, and um, just win for an overall dish. Well, that sounds wonderful. Yeah. So, and I have some other tips to share with you, too. And one of them is about so thinking beyond salt and pepper. So, Charlotte, do you have a favorite herb or spice? I like, uh, actually, I like, uh, uh, like cumin, uh, poultry seasoning, that kind of thing. It's Mexican. Oh, yes. Love that. Well, that's great. So one, one thing that we want to do is um, I, I think so, a lot of people are going, maybe in decreasing the sodium in their diet. Some people are decreasing fat in their diet. But what we don't want to do is decrease flavor. So that's where herbs and spices can really come in. And not only does it add some unique taste, but you can also potentially boost the antioxidants. So um, both of those together is going to create um, a lot more interest and a lot more nutritional interest interest to your meals. So what I have here today is a black bean and whole wheat couscous salad. So instead of maybe typical parsley, what I've done is I've added as well fresh thyme. So it adds a nice summertime appeal. And I like a kick. So I've added some cayenne pepper to this as well. And you can use that in place of black pepper if you want a little bit of heat or in addition to. So in all of that is just, it's one way to take something that might be, you kind of get bored with and you like want to do something different. You can still use the same recipe, but just play around with those herbs and spices one at a time. Um, and my third tip I wanted to share with you today is go big, colorful, and seasonal with our vegetables. So, and I think you, Charlotte, know this as well as probably everybody that vegetables are good for us, but we want to think about a few more things when we think of vegetables. One, all colors count. So even white vegetables count too. All the different colors are going to provide slightly different nutritional benefits. So go with all of the colors and go with what's in season when you can because those that produce is going to be at its ripe, uh, it's going to be at its peak of nutritional value and flavor and color. Um, and it's also going to be easiest on your wallet. So that's a bonus. And what I have here to share with you is a coleslaw recipe. So it's something we typically might find at a picnic or a barbecue in the summer. And what I've done here is instead of just green cabbage, I have a red cabbage as well, some white onion. And what I love to do with this, I suggest use that as a burger topping and not just serve it as a side dish and create kind of some real flair. Oh, that sounds wonderful. We like to do that uh, with uh, with burgers as well as with hot dogs. Using Absolutely. That coleslaw with them. Absolutely. So it's it's not just a side dish like a lot of people think. Well, perfect. 
So um, as far as, as the coleslaw, now what is, what is in the coleslaw that, uh, that gives it the uh, omega-3 edge? The o omega-3 is not going to be in the coleslaw unless you're going to add, um, let's say, an oil to start with. So in my vinaigrette, um, I've used a peanut oil, but I mean, if you use a walnut oil, you're going to get more omega-3. If you use a soybean oil, that's one way as well. You can add some mayonnaise. If you like a creamier mayonnaise, um, go ahead and add the, the Hellman's Real Mayonnaise inside. So that's going to be another way. Sprinkle on a little bit of walnuts. Um, what I suggest is start with, starting with basic recipes, you can just kind of play around a little bit with them. So um, as long as, it, let's say, um, in one meal, in one of the dishes, you're trying to get perhaps a, an ingredient that has the omega-3, that's, that's an excellent thing. Um, but the biggest, the biggest goal is just to try to start with real ingredients to start with, and then the rest is probably just going to fall in line a lot easier. Well, that sounds wonderful. We're, look, we're looking forward to trying these recipes. Oh, great. And for the Magically Moist Turkey Burger, you should go to hellmans.com for that recipe. And the other two recipes, those are actually in my cookbook, Big Green Cookbook. Um, but hellmans.com, there's so many recipes and tips there. That's a good place to start. Okay. Well, we will look out for them there.